We have not won anything until a kid can go to school thinking of their studies and not their safety. We need safer streets in all our communities because I do not want to see another child's name on a memorial killed by gun violence. But of course, that's exactly what Rahm Emanuel has seen since uh, winning that election back in February of 2011. Uh, and he said the right thing. He, and he meant it, everyone is sure, pledging to fight gun violence. Unfortunately, Chicago is now the murder capital of this country. 42 people have been killed. 42 people have already been killed in Chicago this year. 42 people. They're on track to match last year, which was a deadly, deadly performance. It is the deadliest January since 2002. There were 506 people, as I said, uh, killed in Chicago last year. 506. 506 people killed. That's up 17 percent from the previous year when Mayor Emanuel took office. By comparison, New York had 414. New York had 414 murders, and it has a population three times that of Chicago. And you'll be shocked at how many people are getting away with murder in Chicago. According to Chicago police statistics, 34 percent, 34 percent of murders there get solved within the calendar year in which they occur. If you give detectives in Chicago two years, barely 50 percent, barely 50 percent get solved. That's right. If you have a 50-50 shot at getting away with murder in the Windy City, compare that to a nationwide rate. 64 percent of murder cases are solved nationwide in the first year. 64 percent. New York, 60 percent. But instead of going after the gangbangers, the gangers, the bad guys behind gun violence, Mayor Emanuel has chosen to go after the gun manufacturers, making all sorts of statements, uh, trying to coerce banks that do business with the gun manufacturers and mutual funds that invest and pension funds that invest in gun manufacturers, instead of going after the criminals and illegal guns. Mayor Emanuel is going after legal gun owners this time, issuing a proposal to require his citizens to report private gun sales and transfers as if they're the problem instead of doing something to tackle the city's almost $27 billion in unfunded pension liabilities. The boards of Chicago's municipal employees and teachers retirement funds just voted to divest more than a million dollars from the funds uh, in three companies that manufacture rifles. Extremely successful companies, by the way. Mayor Emanuel is playing games, and by the way, it's, he's not alone in this. It's happening across the country, and it's happening in Washington, D.C. But the reality is, the longer these games are played, the more time we give to Chicago's gangs and to other criminals all across this country. And, Mr. Emanuel, Chicago residents certainly don't care who does business with what bank, and neither should you. Please, you, folks in Washington and around the country who have that responsibility, save us the speeches and the posturing and do the hard work to get this problem solved.